I'm on a quest to improve as an artist. I love my chosen medium of watercolor and I have seen lots of growth as I focused on my art over the last couple years. But if I'm honest, sometimes I get impatient. I don't feel like I'm improving fast enough. I have goals I haven't reached yet and I see other artists work and I think, I wanna be able to do that. Can you relate? Are you where you wanna be as an artist? Do you feel like you get stuck or are you waging a war in your mind when it comes to your art? In this video, I wanna talk about the artist mindset. Specifically, I'm gonna share three beliefs that encourage me and guide me in my daily practice of art. Does this sound interesting to you? Keep on watching. Welcome to my studio, my name is Chris. This channel is all about tools, tips, and tutorials for growing in watercolor. In this video, I wanna go in a little different direction from my other videos. I wanna talk about mindset, about what goes on in here in between our ears, and how it affects our growth as an artist. Because I'm convinced that what we believe has a huge impact on the way we live and the results we get. Specifically, I wanna share three beliefs about growth that helped me in my art journey. These three convictions grew out of a time spent reflecting on several parables or stories that were first spoken by Jesus in the ancient Near East 2000 years ago. And while they were spoken to a pretty different context, I have found relevance in these stories to my work as an artist. Sound interesting? Okay, here we go. The first belief. Growth is a natural process. Think about the process of farming or gardening. If you put a seed in the ground, give it a little water, sun, and time, the seed will change and grow. We don't even completely understand how it works, but it does. We see this all the time, and we're not surprised by the results because we know there are natural laws at work that apply to the process of growth when it comes to things like seeds. And it's important that we understand the same natural laws of growth apply to our creative, artistic pursuits. If we make a start in our art, if we plant a seed, so to speak, invest ourselves into the process, create the right environment for growth, we will grow as artists. So your first mindset shift is this. You should expect to grow. Don't allow yourself to be overcome by negative thoughts or fatalistic pronouncements like, I'm just not an artist. Don't be discouraged when you paint like a beginner when you are a beginner, but also expect to grow, and you will. Think about it. When you plant a garden, you don't waste time sitting there watching it to see if it will grow. You trust the process. You know it will grow. You need the same mindset with your art. However, when you do get discouraged, and that can happen, say to yourself, if I keep at this, if I keep on painting, I will be better next month or next year than I am now. Believe in the process of growth. The second belief, growth is slow and often imperceptible. Have you ever watched grass grow? Can you perceive that that tree is getting bigger? Do you see the seed forming inside the husk? No, of course not, because the change is hidden. It is imperceptible, but it is real. Those mysterious forces in the soil, the sun, and the water are all working together to turn a seed into a huge sapling or an acorn into a mighty oak. It is the accumulation of all those minute daily changes that bring about the final result. And the same is true with your art. This truth became very real to me when I committed myself to painting every day. Even though I might not see huge changes from one day to the next, and even though I might feel like I'm making no progress at all, when I look back over the record of weeks, months, years, I see growth. Yes, it is sometimes slow, but it is real. So here's my big encouragement to you. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your art. Don't treat every painting like a potential masterpiece. You don't need that kind of pressure. Be realistic about your progress and even have fun in the process. The third belief is growth is accentuated by the right conditions. 
If you've ever planted a garden, you know that the right conditions can make a huge difference in the quality of the harvest. Preparing the soil, sowing the seeds at the right depth, providing enough but not too much water, getting enough sun, and finally keeping the pests away are all important for a good yield. This is true with plants. It's also true with your art. So what are the right conditions for growing in your art? What makes the soil good for growing as an artist? There are three things that I have found. I mention them in the order of importance. The first condition, time. Dedicated time set apart to focus on making art with minimal interruptions where your mind and your spirit can focus on creating. Nothing is more important this, than this, I think, for creating the right conditions. Number two, a dedicated place. A space, no matter how small or insignificant, where you can focus on your art making. The space is all set up and ready to go. You've removed all the obstacles to creating. And when you go into that space, your mind and your spirit know, this is where I create. And number three, good supplies. I suggest you get the best supplies you can afford, but don't overdo it. I place this as the third condition because I think it is the least important of the three. However, it is the one thing that everybody focuses on. We're tempted to believe that if we buy just the right brush or the right color of paint, all our problems will be overcome and we'll paint that elusive masterpiece. But alas, no. Good supplies are important, but not that important. So for supplies, what do I suggest? Have a few good brushes? You really only need three to five. Use cotton watercolor paper, and there are lots of affordable options out there. And use professional grade paint instead of student grade paint. And limit the number of colors you have. Too many colors and it just gets confusing. Now there is a fourth condition that can accelerate your growth. Think of it like fertilizer to your garden. It can accelerate the growth of the plants. And this fourth thing is instruction. If you can spend some time with an artist and instructor that you admire, this can be helpful to catapult your growth. So let me recap. Number one, growth is a natural process. Expect to grow and you will. Number two, growth is slow and imperceptible. It occurs daily and so should your art. Number three, growth is accentuated by the right conditions. So give some thought to creating an environment that promotes creativity and you will see results. If you'd like to hear more about the lessons I've learned in my art journey, check out my other videos on the artist mindset. I will leave a link in the description below. Also, if you'd like to add a little fertilizer to the growth of your artistic skills, check out my online courses at studio.kristabruin.com forward slash courses. Finally, I have a growing collection of free resources on my website. There are templates and color charts and a book list for the growing watercolor artist. Look for the link below. In conclusion, what do you think about the artist mindset? Do you have guiding beliefs or principles that impact your art making? If so, I'd like to invite you to share those in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and subscribing to this channel. Have a great day and keep on growing in watercolor.